Hey guys, welcome to another game of League of Legends. I'm playing Karma today, and I'm doing a solo queue in normal 5 vs 5. And yeah, I had to edit a lot of this, and I have to actually put it in two parts. Be sure to watch the other part. Um, I'll probably put a link to it after the end of the video. You could just click that or something. We'll see. We'll see what I do. This is a fairly decent game, so I think you guys might enjoy this. Um, for this, I like to start with Karma. I always start with my Q. Um, and I also like to get a Doran's ring off the bat. So let's do that. I edited a lot of this. The walking and the doing absolutely nothing is not in here. But I face check a bush. Here we go. And that did not go very well. I took a lot of damage off the start. Shago decides to pursue me with a flash. But it's alright because I got my ult straight off at, number, at level 1. And uh, I get away. Sign decides to chase and he ignites him. Gets the first blood. Good job. I have to go back because I got fucked up and I'm going to get some potions and stuff. And ensue the uh, the face wrecking that will be happening. Okay. Here we go with some... Oh, we stun Shaco and actually get quite a bit of damage off from him. We didn't get to finish the kill. Right there, I was pretty sad. I was like, God damn it, why didn't I bring Ignite? But it's okay. I still get the kill anyways on Shaco. I love my ult. It makes me do a ton of damage. Early game. There we go. Waiting. Waiting for some minions to come down. Don't want to make her tower hug too far. At this, I'm not really... As Karma, I don't really worry too much about creeps as much as I do just getting a lot of assists, as you should for support. We go trying to put some damage on her, but she backs up. I'm not going to tower dive at level 2 as Karma. It's retarded, so I don't chase. I actually had to turn the sound down for this because I was listening to music and it actually transferred over into my game, which upsets me. But you'll randomly hear the sound effects in the game and you randomly won't because I had to turn it down. Waiting for them to come out so I can actually harass them here. They're playing pretty safe. Level 3, I got another point in my queue rather than getting my rope. Because your rope is your, like, your least useful item. And really, I want that extra damage as much as I can get. They're trying to go in the bushes here because they saw that, that Cyan left me. And, and here I'm taking massive damage and Shaco comes after me. But... Boom! I waited for my cooldown to come back because I had my ult actually activated. Which does a ton more damage because, as if you guys know, um, Karma actually does more AP damage with it. Like, how much percentage her health is missing will add to her percentage of AP, which is just fabulous. But here, science sign to chase. I probably should have roped, but I didn't have my rope at this point. I just have to walk very slowly. And here, I didn't want to steal his kill because I thought he had her because he had Ignite. So I probably should have taken that, but I was trying to be nice. She actually gets away. Pretty depressing. Here I am explaining to my teammate how I should Victory have stolen his kill, but I didn't want to be a jerk. it out. I was actually listening to Bruno Mars. Don't judge me. I like it. There we go. Rest and Shaco. I bubbled just as the tower hit me, so I took no damage. Like a boss. Shaco just not doing so well this game. Sign decides to tower dive him for some reason. Oh, I so wanted a tower dive, but I did not. Misfortune came back, and I would have died. At this point in the game, I'm 2-0 and 1, so I'm doing pretty good. Our team score is 5-0, to zero, so our entire team is doing pretty good. As you can see, I'm really not focusing creeps that much at all, like I said. It's all about the assists. Even though this game I get more kills than I think I do assists. 
So either way, support really it's those need to be heavy creeps. They're playing super defensively at this point because we've pushed them pretty hard the whole time. Shaco's still level 3. <laughs> he just hit 4. And we're level 5 and 6. Oh no, we're both 5. Uh, I'm not sure why he ran in there. He shouldn't have. I have no mana. He didn't pursue now, and that's not good because I can't do any support. So I ghost, actually. But he goes and stays in the bush, so I have to go support him. And uh, Shaco actually jumps on him, and we pick up the kill on Shaco. Uh, oh, no, we don't. I lied. I had no mana. I couldn't do anything. So I activated my ult, and I couldn't even do anything. But my mana just came back, so I decided to go in for the kill because I was like, oh, I got this. Nope. We got fiddlesticks coming in, fearing me, draining me, dead. Nothing I could do about that. She called MIA mid, but sh all she said was MIA, so I, I didn't. I thought it was top. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, it was my bad. Even though she's still, I, if you're mid, you should say mid MIA or the person who is mid, like fid MIA or fiddle MIA or anything. Just saying MIA is not that helpful. I'm just saying. And here we go, back into the lane. A lot of this game is just me laning with Scion early game because they actually uh, don't last very long. But uh, here we go. Doing work. I love Karma. She's one of my favorite support. Her and Sona and uh, Nidalee. But I don't really think of Nidalee too much of support. Oh. I really wanted to tower dive so many times this game. But I kept trying to not, you know, get too greedy and play stupid. Got Miss Misfortune not giving up her tower very easily. Don't know where Shaco was the majority of this game. He, I guess he was jungling or something. She does a good job pushing us off the tower a lot, though. Like, she might be wasting her ult and wasting her mana quite a bit, but she's effectively getting us off their tower, which is the best they can do at that point. Here we go. Shaco is coming at us. He knows we have no health, no mana. Use my ult to heal, but I have no mana, so I, I got 30 seconds on my clarity. So I'm trying to really just wait out time here, hoping that my clarity can go back and we can pick up some kills. Because they're getting really cocky right now. Just buying time. That's all I can do at this point. Hoping that Cyan doesn't engage too hard until, you know, my five seconds are up and I get my clarity. At that point, it's game on. And Clarity's up. Heal him. Let's go in. Do some work. Waiting for Shaco to get stupid because I really want to kill him. Trying to get the jump on him, but I'm wasting all my mana here, which I shouldn't have been doing. Like, those those slows are really pointless. I was hoping that Sion would engage, but he never did. So here we go. He stunned him. And we did not get... Oh, we did get the kill, actually. Uh, a minion killed him. I think his game is very fitting. It's what the fuck Rawful, which fits probably his... Uh, his mood towards a lot of the kills that happen on this game. That, that poor guy. Like, I actually feel bad. Shaco's very squishy early game. Surprisingly, Karma's not that squishy. Yep, getting some mana regeneration and some potions because I like to eat a lot of potions, especially, like, if I want to stay in a lane a long time like this. This game, I really want to stay here as much as I can. I don't want to have to keep going back. Shaco's doing some damage. I take a tower hit. 